Has the thought of owning your own machine ever crossed your mind? If so, this video is for you. My name is Wyatt. I've been with Newman Tractor for roughly a decade now. As a shop foreman, I do a lot of service work. I love turning wrenches. I've touched everything from John Deere, Cat, Bome, Ingersoll. I like to learn and I keep my open mindset. Today, I got a Bobcat and a Sani, and we're gonna get our butt to seat. Being a service, I get questions all the time on, do I buy new, do I buy used, pros, cons? Can you give me a little comparison? So today, one of our good friends uh, from Kentucky has dropped off his Bobcat, and uh, we gave him a little demo SY35 to take out this weekend for him to try out, and we're gonna do a little walk around, a little comparison today. We got the SY35U here, and it is roughly 8,300 pounds, so you can haul this behind your just your no normal everyday pickup truck. So if you're a landscaper, masonry, I mean, this is perfect for you. So the breakout force on this is actually 6,000 pounds. This is zero tail swing, so if you get into a tight area, you don't ever have to worry about swinging in and taking someone's bushes out or their house out. Ideally, the 35U has the rubber track system on it, so you don't have to worry about tearing up asphalt, people's driveways, it's a low ground pressure system. Um, so you don't have to worry about if you get in a little swampy area, you're not going to sink and have to haul in loads and loads of topsoil to get it all back. It's powered with a Yanmar. It's a 3TNV. Yanmar is super popular. Everybody loves it. I mean, that's the huge selling point on this. 23 horsepower and 3,800 PSI is an overall working pressure. So with a five-year, 5,000-hour warranty, this machine is very, I mean, it's built to last. So you just put your grease gun away because you put your two pumps of grease and all your grease fittings to get your day started. Let's check the fluid levels. Everything is easily seen here. Um, your coolant level, I have full mark, it's labeled for you. Uh, the fuel water separator. Here you have the electromagnetic fuel filter. Uh, whenever you turn the key on, uh, it, you, it'll prime the system for you. So you never have to worry about carrying a fuel can when you service it. Turn the key on, self-priming, jump in there and fire it up and you're ready to go. So you got all that taken care of. You're gonna step over here, check your air pre-cleaner. Um, two simple clamps, pop it off there, inspect it, no holes, stick it back in there, good to go. Check your hydraulic oil level, and there you go. Get your butt in the seat and get to operating. Safety first, right? Always double check and make sure your emergency shutoff here is just rotated. Quick little easy turn, make sure it's kicked out. Three points of contact. Climb on in, sit down, and you're ready to get your day started. So we're obviously comparing apples and oranges here. We have the older 331, um, which is now equivalents to the 35E in the Bobcat line there. So the pros of buying used, it helps you get your foot in the door. Uh, everybody has to start somewhere. This particular model has the Kubota four-cylinder diesel in it, which is a 40 horsepower diesel. It has a 7,000 pound breakout force, and it is a conventional tail swing machine. It's good for the people that do a lot of residential work. You can go through tight gates, um, get in people's backyards. You can do their landscaping, their retaining walls, uh, dig around their pools. It's good for planting bushes. You know, people got a big hillside for backyard, backfilling. Um, it's got the blade function on it also. Now it is a two-way blade, just like our Sany SY35. So you just go up and down. It does have LGP. If you get in a little marshy environment, you don't have to worry about tearing up the, everybody's yard. So you bought your Bobcat 331. Now you're ready to put your sweat equity in it because you got it for such a good deal. It needs a little bit of work. Let's take a look and see what we got. So the whole back is opened up now. Okay, your hydraulic tank, it's easily accessible. Uh, it's, you don't need a lot of tools to get it filled up. You open the door, fill it up right here, sight glass with a bubble in it. Air filter, easily accessible. Engine oil filter, obviously you always want to check your fluid levels. Um, your fuel water separator, you know, you get running a little choppy, you want to make sure that that's drained out. Any sediment in your tank that might pick up. Um, water level is actually over here, so you can easily check that. Everything's here. So the huge trade-off is you have this ginormous door back here. You swing into a tree and you crush this rear component here. You're not getting this handle open. Once you crank it, you can't get to your engine, you can't view anything, you can't do your daily checks. The newer models, uh, the Sani SY35U and also the E35 and the Bobcat lineup, you have a counterweight protecting it. Safety, huge factor, three points of contact. You got your rails here, or you grab handle, either or. Step, you get in. So a huge plus to this Bobcat 331 here is it is keyless. Uh, so you, all you need is just a passcode. It's simple, you reach over, Ignition on, you enter your passcode, and you're ready to get your day started.
This is Dave with Newman Tractor. He's one of our service techs up in the shop. We're going to race down that flag over there and see which one of these machines has the better, faster tracks here. Um, we're going to do a little coin test to see who gets which machine and uh, go from there. You ready? Yep. Heads. Heads. I got the sandy all day, man. <laughs> On your mark, set, go! Oh, hang on, Wyatt! It was in turtle mode! All day, buddy. Come on, dude! Hey, why don't you speed up, dude? You're just playing with me now! I won. Clear as day. Uh, I did have a couple malfunctions with my speed switch here. You hit a bump, it gets a jig on wires are loose, I think, but we still won, so it's all that matters. Good. He may have won, but I was a lot more comfortable, I can guarantee you that. Yeah. They got the old people rocking chair here. It even squeaks, but you sleep. Obviously, getting to a destination in a timely manner is extremely nice, but speed isn't always everything you know you want to be able to dig through different materials um you're not always just digging in in a bed of feathers you know what i mean so we got some hard soul out here today it'd be interesting to see these two machines side by side um now there is a weight difference in them a breakout force difference um one machine is a little bit bigger in horsepower rating um but it'd just be interesting to see how exactly it tears up the earth The bobcat doesn't seem to have enough weight in the front NSO to keep it down on the ground, but it's kind of, well, it's forcing the teeth in the dirt a little bit. Just keep Jimmy in the handle. We've got a full scoop of dirt. Looks like there's a rock in there. So, blade down, it's not doing too bad, but if I boom up, if I pick the blade off the ground, it just balances itself on the idlers. Hydraulic pump seems a little loud. You can hear it kind of humming in the background, pretty loud, the stick forward. Functions seem to be very uh, jolty and shaky, um, you know, shaking me up pretty good. It's not extremely comfortable for the mere fact that there's nowhere to put your feet. I mean, you've got these little panels here, but hold your feet at an angle like this all day is not very comfortable. Tons of power. Um, let's see. I mean, it just pushed a whole, whole big bunch of dirt right in that hole there. Oh. Using the way the machine appears to the bucket through, Sandy's not too rocky. Um, pretty comfortable. The hydraulic pump, not super noisy. It's got a little bit of a hiss to it. Um, well, I guess not really a hiss, more of a hum. So the functions and everything seem to be doing pretty well really really digging in right now pull the uh, rear of the machine up off the ground but a bad little scoop of dirt machine in rapid mode is actually digging up the existing earth around it not even loose debris it's digging down in the ground and pushing the pile so all in all that's pretty impressive Apples to oranges here again. Between the used machines or a brand new machine, what is the best purchase? Well, that's completely up to you. Bobcat did feel a little more spacious, um, but I did feel like everything was just far out. You know, the joysticks are farther out. To reach up and get the, the drive pedals, I had to lean forward and get. Both machines, you get the boom out of your way. Both of them articulate nicely. I mean, at almost 90 degrees, which opens up a whole field of view for you. Sitting there operating, got kind of jolty on the Bobcat. The Sandy I was a little more comfortable in. And the Bobcat, I was looking to put my feet up to kind of help brace myself in that seat so I felt more stationary, more planted. And the Sandy, I didn't really need to. I kept my feet on the floorboard. The Sandy on filling the ditch, definitely more pro uh, productive. Left it in Rabbit, it pushed a pile, and it was a pretty decent pile for both machines. The Bobcat, it was, it kind of, loses all the force in rabbit mode, it doesn't want to turn, um, so you kind of get a downshift back in turtle mode, shift back over, and push your pile. So speed, the Bobcat definitely goes from A to B a lot faster. As far as production wise, digging holes, you, you could see that, you know, A, we dug deeper with the Sani, and I feel like we did it in a much faster time. And not only that, but we, I feel like we also filled in the hole a lot faster, uh, more productive, and got it ran over and packed down.
All in all, um, you know, what is the best purchase, you know, between the used machines or a brand new machine? Are you going to be using this thing around your house um, or are you going to be using it to make yourself money and it needs to pay for itself in the same time? Um, obviously, if you're going to be making money with it, a warranty that you don't, you know, you don't have to pay for anything, the travel time mileage is covered. Um, the newer the machine, the easier and more readily available the parts are. Um, used machine, you know, it's, you're saving a little bit of money, but you, and you, you may not be using it to make a ton of money in the long run. So which machine is right for you? Well, come on up to Newman Tractor and get your butt in the seat. And if you can't do that, click the link below. There's all kinds of helpful resources that are going to benefit you. Coin flip to see who gets what. Good. Oh man, I don't know. That one's down in the grass. I think it's gone. I think that was my last quarter. <laughs>